Hey everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with another episode of Just a Little Sketchy. And big surprise, I have chosen another page maps sketch for today. And it calls for two, no, three photos that are two by two and a half. And rather than doing those dimensions, I'm gonna do mine as two and a half by two and a half because I wanted them to be squares. And I know like a half an inch is just off by a little, but for some reason, I just wanted them to be squares. So I'm doing two and a half by two and a half. And so I have one picture that is a stack of these jars. And then I had two pictures that were close ups. And so this is when we were in Boston on vacation, we went to this place called Wicked Good Cupcakes. And they basically make cupcakes in these glass jars. And then they have them there in the market where you can pick one up and it's like a ready to go cupcake. And the kids thought that they were super cool. So we got a few different ones just to kind of pass around and try between all of us. Um, so those are the close up ones that you can see the pictures for. And then I also have a picture of the stacks just from the booth itself. And so I'm just gonna back all three of my photos with one kind of strip of white cardstock. And I wanted to use my photo backing cardstock which wasn't quite long enough, but it doesn't bother me at all that I have a little bit of a gap um, like a line that you can kind of see in the white cardstock where I paired the two sheets up together. But to me, that's way better than cutting into a 12 by 12. I knew that rather than in this particular sketch, it shows a plain cardstock background with pattern paper on the bottom half. And rather than do that, I'm going to use that black and white polka dot as my background paper because I really love how these photos stand out on the black and white. And then I'm going to have some pink and some kind of like turquoise and yellow. So this is gonna be a really bright, fun layout, which is perfect because it kind of matches the sprinkles in that cupcake jar. So rather than having the bottom half of the page be full of one pattern paper, I'm gonna cut just a strip of pattern paper to go down there. And then I'm cutting out some of these three by four cards that I can use as different elements on the page. So I know I want that yellow one to be tucked into my photo layers. And then the one that has that like view master viewfinder, um, I'm gonna fussy cut and use that as like a die cut basically on my page. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this turquoise and I'm gonna cut myself a four by eight inch strip. And I'm gonna take my punch that is the notebook edging and use that on that uh, piece of paper. And this is kind of staying true to the sketch. In the sketch, she has her journaling on this particular piece of paper with the title, and there's a notebook edging on it. So I'm kind of, at this point, I'm staying true to the sketch, and I'm doing okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just take my two inch circle punch and punch a few different circles that I can kind of scatter around on the layout. And then this is where I go ahead and fussy cut that little die cut piece that I also want to use as part of the layout. And I know that I need to take the branding strip off of that black and white polka dot paper, but I really love the pink and white stripes that are on the branding strip. So I'm going to end up getting that into my layout design as well. So once I have a four inch strip of this pink, I'm going to lay it on top of the black and white polka dot. And because the pink and the black and white have a different size to them, those two pattern papers work next to each other. So I'm just kind of layering up different patterns. I really like the direction the colors are going. I feel like it's super bright and fun and the black background really makes it all stand out. So I'm happy with that part so far. And then I'm trying to decide where I want this little viewfinder piece to go because it's cut on the edge of the card. It had to be on an edge of my layout. And so I'm gonna get it into that kind of left side above my strip of paper. And this is where I'm kind of deciding, I feel like I need something to separate the pink background, like border strip from the black and white background. And so I'm gonna take that little tiny branding strip with the white and the pink, and that gives it just enough white to really help all those layers stand apart. So sometimes looking at those branding strips as a tool to kind of help you is a really awesome kind of trick. So I had one of these little pink hearts and this stuff all is in my um, How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of May, if I didn't mention that. 
So that's why everything is already like coordinated and I had supplies on my desk because this is actually that pre-made kit that I put together. So now I'm just going through pulling out other die cuts that I feel like will work. I love that pink outline of the heart die cut kind of tucked in there behind my photos as well as that little capture life card. And then I'm just looking for what else I can possibly use. I know that I want to leave that green area basically open except for a title element in the middle. So I'm just pulling out some die cuts and pieces that I feel like could possibly work. Um, I love that little Be Happy because it brings another pop of yellow. It, do it doesn't end up making the cut, but I do like it there. Um, so down in the bottom, I am layering up a circle, and then I have that little hexagon that just says, Psst. and on there, I'm going to put just like the basics of my journaling. So it's going to end up saying like where at Wicked Good Cupcakes in Boston and the date, and that's it. That's going to go in that little space because I'm still kind of planning on doing some lengthy journaling on that green sheet. Um, so then I went ahead and pulled out that Alta New chipboard and I'm gonna grab a couple of the little hearts off of there and find spaces for them. And then I'm also gonna take some of the phrases. So the one that I have on the little tab by the top photo says fun times. And then the other two I grab say we were here and late night snack that late night snack one is going to end up becoming part of my title. So my title is actually going to say late night snack love. And so I'm going to go with these pink fresh puffy words and pull in the word love. So I took them out of the package and just kind of laid them across that green paper to decide which words I wanted to use that would fit really well in that space. And the word love kind of makes the cut. And I think I'm going to have it overlapping the photo. But then once I get it onto the page, I was like, no, I want to move it over a little bit. So I go ahead and move all those letters over. And just like you guys always comment on my videos, I'm using my hand. I'm always sticking stuff to my hand when I'm creating, you guys. Does anybody else do that? Or is that just a weird thing that I do? Like when you're creating stuff, do you just put things onto the top of your hand? Because I don't know. That's just, that's. I don't know, my style, it's what I do. Um, so I'm taking these epoxy hearts and I'm gonna add a couple of those to each of the clusters and I'm kind of focusing on the yellow ones um, to bring in that just a little dash of yellow that we have going on. And so there's gonna be yellow hearts in each of the three clusters. And then I'm just trying to decide how I wanna kind of finish off these clusters, like what other little things I have. And I remembered that I had pulled these little black acrylic shapes from close to my heart into my kit. And so I'm going to add a couple of those little black outline hearts to the two clusters on the right hand side. I felt like the cluster on the left didn't really need one because it has that big pink outline. Um, so I still felt like that was pretty balanced. And then I go ahead and add my little phrases right on top of my title. So it says we were here and then late night snack love to finish off the title part. Um, I am still like going to go back. My plan is to go back and add journaling to that green box that has a more lengthy story to it. But I am going to fill in the little hexagon at the bottom so at least the basics are on there. I am adding just a few little bright pink sequins to each one of my clusters. And I feel like that really kind of finished off like it was just the last little detail that this layout needed. And these are just some sequins that have been hanging around my desk. So they weren't part of the kit, but I keep a whole little basket of Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins right on my desk because I use them so often. Um, so I am going to add those to each one of the clusters, and that is basically going to do it. So I stayed pretty close to the foundation of the sketch on this one, but as usual, my embellishing kind of took me in a different direction. And because I didn't have a lot of those little like banner pieces and didn't want to make my own banner, I went ahead and left that part of the sketch off. But I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed seeing my process as well. And I will be back to see you guys really soon. Bye everybody!